Passive income is a goddamn lie. Passive income. Passive income. Passive income. Now that might be what you expected me to say. Ha! <laughs> Got it. You think billionaires are working by the hour? No. Here's passive income in five seconds. You buy a stock, wait a year, collect your dividend, and boom, passive income. It's a wazzy, it's a woozy. Here's how to build a thousand dollars a day of passive income from somebody who's actually done it. In a nutshell, I started off as a carpenter busting my back. I then became a realtor specializing with investors. I then started investing in real estate with partners. And now I buy a ton of properties, at least two properties a month, and my team runs everything. I don't do anything. And when I sell those properties, I take those profits and I private lend it to other investors like myself and I make a sexy return via passive income. Yes! Oh my gosh! And just from the private lending income stream alone, my returns are $30,000 a month. So about $1,000 a day. Now the goal is to go from a low position in the operation to one of high authority. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this. Then the work is really done at the lower level of the operation and you're taking the director's cut. I'm a businessman. I got business plans. So can you do this too? Well, there's a little bit of important stuff that these finance YouTubers aren't telling you. The only way to scale and grow a business and more importantly, to grow wealth for yourself is to collaborate with other people, usually known as employees and not exploiting them, but helping them as well. Avivi, come to Dubai. See, the more employees you have doing work for you, the faster you can grow and you can spend the majority of your time on the important things. Back at the crib. Don't like that. I got, I got that reaction. Passive income is pretty sweet and pretty easy, but in order to get yourself to the point where you have a lot of passive income, it takes a lot of active work. Most people are just looking forward to Friday, to get drunk on Friday night, still drunk on Saturday, start sobering up on Sunday, to get back to their shitty job and shitty life, to be frank, on Monday, to do the cycle all over again. And then they wake up when they're 47, 49, 50, out of their drunken days, realize they're fat, they're ugly, their kids suck, they have nothing to show for anything in their life, and we want to avoid that. Is that harsh? That's the fruitful way, baby. A lot of active hustle that most people aren't willing to do. 24 months of eating shit to be able to eat caviar for the rest of your life. So for example, in my business, I used to do everything. I used to find the real estate deals. I would meet with the sellers. I would shoot these videos. I would edit the videos. I would do my own Facebook ads. It was a gong show. Once I started hiring amazing people who were even better than me at those specific roles, my business exploded. We buy multiple properties a month. We're shooting so many videos, doing so much content. I really only do these videos and that's it. I don't edit them. I don't go see the properties. I don't renovate them. This is the definition of capitalism and most importantly escape the matrix five million dollars is chump change now it doesn't matter what industry you're in whether you have a hair salon whether you have a contracting business whether you're a real estate investor like myself it really comes down to marketing high income skill in terms of copywriting social media growth and as I said after that business finished I actually ended up learning videography in 2016 and that's how I got my first social media marketing client now you may think you're a real estate investor you may think you're an owner of a tanning salon or a hair salon or whatever but in reality you are a marketer first and if nobody knows you nobody's gonna flow you meaning you're not gonna make money and you're just gonna be a slave like any nine to fiver product here and this is where you end up right here if you can communicate this product you can make money off the product authority you need people to like you know you and trust you this is the only way I grew my business and attracted so much money into it is because people love the messaging the most importantly they want me at the helm they want me controlling the business and providing them wealth as well and they're too busy they have their own lives going on they have their own jobs and families they don't have time for it I already created the entire system at this point they're just jumping on the train and chilling for the ride. And go is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> you can't run a great business and run a great team if the team doesn't trust you as well. You have to build a business on your own, really put in all the hard work and prove yourself before you can really start hiring quality employees. No matter how smart you are with it, if you have better talent, you will beat your competitors. And that's the key. We want quality people to help us grow the business, not people who are just punching in and punching out, doing their job half-assed. They're gonna happen from time to time, 
especially depending on what industry you're in, like the contracting business. Don't get me started on that side of the business, but it's gonna take a lot of work and time and sacrifice, maybe more than you even realize to get this snowball at least rolling. But when it does, and you start attracting quality clients and quality employees who beg, they want to work with you, you're gonna be smooth sailing from there. So how do you build authority? Number one, we wanna be a specialist. We wanna know exactly what we're doing better than most people. And most importantly, we wanna market that specialty. Make kick-ass content that people relate with and they wanna work with us. And most importantly, they wanna be our friends. In fact, I see it all the time where I see subpar real estate investors in my industry who really aren't the best at their business, but they're really good marketers. They're photogenic, they're charismatic on these videos and they get a shit ton of clients more than way better realtors. They should have all the clients, but nobody knows them. They're quiet, they're scared, they're timid, they're afraid to show the world their specialty and what they know. I think as you get older, things get more refined and yeah. you become more of a sniper. Friends make the best clients, the best partners, and the best employees. Success in life depends on a good education. Not always. I beg your pardon? It's not what you know, it's who you know which is what I try to do on all these videos. It's to show my true personality, share my thoughts about politics, the economy, what I think about investing, living a great lifestyle, and hopefully people resonate with that message. Influencer marketing is all about tapping into the full power of persuasion, well known relatable and likable people as ambassadors for your brand. And ideally, what I'm trying to honestly do is alienate purposely the people who don't align with my message. See, I don't wanna do 1991 marketing where I try to get everybody into my funnel. No, I'm speaking one direct language to a specific person and I want them. I want that specific partner, that specific type of client or employee to wanna to work with me. You need to immerse yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. A kid that works for a company for free, but is really loving that industry, wants to be a part of it, is super charismatic about it, is gonna learn a hell of a lot more than an employee making minimum wage, but doesn't really care and just shows up for the job. If this is you, I'm sorry to be bashing you so hard, but it's time for you to wake up. Wake your ass up, wake your ass up! So maybe you're 21, 22, 23 years old, and you're thinking, yeah, I'm super passionate about my industry, I'm super passionate about real estate investing, but I don't have any money, nobody really knows me, how can I become a specialist. I was in that exact same boat, but what I did was document my journey. I was teaching free strategies on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, teaching what are the best practices to invest in this specific area. Again, I went hyper niche. And while you might think you're too young, nobody's gonna listen to you, you don't know anything yet, you don't have any money, trust me, they will. Because other people who are just slightly maybe ahead of you wanna work with you because you guys are close. He's a good kid. Now obviously the real estate investor, let's say, who has 300 units, probably isn't gonna work with a 22 year old like me, but the person who has no properties, one, two, three, five properties, we're still pretty close. So they're gonna be interested in working with me. And that's exactly what happened. Over time, the grind continues and you start slowly elevating your social status, elevating your net worth, and you start attracting more and more higher quality people. So the key is really to be consistent because if you start marketing yourself on social media, Media and you post, I don't know, once a week, that's not enough. You need to post consistently and get in people's faces. Marketing is a moving parade. People are following you along your journey, but they might not be ready to work with you just yet. But if you stop posting and say, oh, this isn't working. So no head or you post sporadically, they're not gonna be following you along that parade because eventually that parade swings around and they're right in front of you. But if you're not top of mind, they're gonna move on to somebody else. So it's about being consistent, shouting to the world what you know and what you can offer. And eventually the clients and the partners will come around. That's really the important stuff that these finance YouTubers aren't talking about because they're just YouTubers. They're not running a real business. They're just saying shit on here that sounds cool for theater purposes. I'm telling you how to run a real business and actually grow a business to then be passive. I don't care what's going on in the economy. I don't care what's going on with Ukraine, world wars. It doesn't matter. Through any war, any recession, real estate always comes out the end of it better, which is why so many millionaires are made through real estate because honestly, it's very fucking easy. Buy a house, renovate it super well, get a nice quality tenant in there, chill. Hire a property manager, let them take the phone calls, let them clean the poo toilet. You're just chilling, you're the investor, you're doing the back end stuff. Outsource, outsource, outsource. Maybe it's freedom, it's flow, it's current. That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! Grow it as best as you can and then replace yourself 
with high quality employees and I can chill and make more passive income as the years go on. That is the lifestyle that I want and if you're watching this video and if you made it this far, it is likely the lifestyle that you also want. So hit subscribe and follow this channel and I'm gonna teach you exactly how to kick life's ass and how to make a ton of money. I'll see you in the next video.